Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled Taming the Future. Every year at this time, the pundits and futurists publish their predictions for the state of the human race. I'm reminded of one such modern day prophecy by Bill Joy, co-founder and chief scientist at Sun Microsystems, who argued that machines would eventually rule humans. In an article published over a decade ago, Joy said that with the development of nanotechnology, humans will become extinct. Now Mr. Joy reasoned that in the future, computers will be capable of designing and reproducing themselves, thus creating at first competition and finally domination over the human race. Of course, only someone immersed in the virtual universe would have both the unlimited finances and spiritual ignorance to make and then have published such nonsense. It's quite an insult to God when man thinks that he is God, but the sin is even more presumptuous when man actually thinks that what he has created becomes God. God long ago said of men that when they put their minds to it, nothing which they purpose will be impossible for them. Genesis chapter 11 verse 6. Mankind continues to amaze with not only the technology it produces, but also the new heights of insolence, pride, and foolishness it is capable of. God set humans as the crown of His creation and prepares a church made up of humans, not machines, to share a glorious eternity with Him in heaven. Let's remember this when we're asked to add one more empty prediction of gloom to the many already out there. In the meantime, if they do make a sci-fi movie from this premise, I have a great plot twist. Have the human hero plant the gospel virus into the system and convert the machine masters to Christ. Seems that something like that happened in the Roman Empire a long time ago. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.